So Drake says he's tired of you guys messing with him and him and his team are actually going to sue. So the AI company that's responsible for BBL Drizzy is being sued for copyright infringement. We all know that Metro Boomin was the one who released this track and is believed to be the one who's created this track when they were at the height of their beef, especially with Drake and Kendrick Lamar. But let's get into this article that was released by Vibe Magazine. So the world has been having fun at the laughs of Drake, especially with that song, BBL Drizzy. Let's face it, the tune is catchy. It's just fun, especially since Drake got accused of having a BBL. And he wasn't only accused by Kendrick Lamar. We have to remember that Megan Thee Stallion even said that as well. But in all honesty, I'll be honest, I feel like Drake is the one who started a lot of this own beef and a lot of this own karma. And, um, you know, so let's continue. So there's been all kinds of versions. There was a bachata version, which was like a Latin fused version. There's been versions of this track at um, weddings being played. You know, they remixed it. They sampled it. They've freaking rapped on it. They've done everything with this damn track. Even Shaquille O'Neal was posting a very confusing Photoshop picture of Drake wearing a bikini with the song in the background. So the two recent lawsuits go against two AI companies show that, um, it's time to just stop and, you know, and pay the piper. The Recording Industry Association of America, specifically Sony Music Entertainment and UMG Recordings and Warner Brothers or Warner Records filed copyright infringement cases against AI companies, Sono and Uncharted Labs for using their artists' content to train their AI systems to create the music of BBL Drizzy. That company that was actually the developer, which is UDI or UDO, which made the actual beat of BBL Drizzy as well. So everybody thought that it was Metro Boomin who created the actual beat, but actually it was not. It was just Metro Boomin who really made it public. So fans later learned that Metro Boomin wasn't the originator of the beat but it was rather somebody named King Williamness. And um, this comedian uploaded the BBL Drizzy track back in April when Rick Ross and Drake were beefing as well. He claimed the credit is inspiring from Metro's beat. Um, that was dope that Metro Boomin sampled BBL Drizzy, but he actually didn't create it. He just sampled it. And what's also interesting I want to I want to point out is I feel like Drake which this article talks about Drake attempted to make it like be in his favor when he rapped against the beat on Sexy Rides You My Everything um last month and it was basically one of her songs and a lot of people liked it and we felt like oh Drake's trying to you know like ha 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 I don't care I'm not bothered and he was like trying to turn it around like he was the one who was paying for the BBLs. But it seems like he's still just not moving past this because now they're suing. So I don't know. I personally think he should just leave it alone because this is just making him seem like a crybaby.